I'm really excited. That looks quite cute. Oh. Like, I would buy these. I'd buy these in a shop. Oh, it's cracking loads. Oh no. Oh no, where's the wick? Look how cute they look. I'm literally obsessed with them. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then hi my name is Alice Hope and I do lots of videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and vlogging tips. So if you are into that then make sure you stick around and click the subscribe button down below. So I'm actually really excited about today's video. I'm going to be doing a little DIY video for you guys. I think this is going up at the weekend. So it's a bit of, week, or probably even Sunday. So it's a bit of Sunday DIY for you. Um, I'm going to be making today or doing a DIY version of those really pretty, stunning, bendy candles that you see all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, all over literally every blogger place ever because they are so, so cute. And yeah, I've been seeing them everywhere and I just thought, you know what, I really want to make my own. And I saw a video of someone on TikTok doing it and it looked surprisingly easy. So I thought, you know, why spend like 20, 30 quid, which is what they're sold for by the way, um, when I can spend way, way less and do it myself and have a little bit of fun as well. So yeah, I thought I would make them and I thought I would take you guys along with me because it's just a little fun thing and you could totally do it yourself. So I'll kind of road test it for you, be a bit of a guinea pig and see if it's actually worth doing or not. I ordered some candles. I ordered them from a website called, I think it was Plaristo or something like that. I'll put the um, address here. Um, but it was such a good website, I highly recommend because I actually weirdly found it so hard to find candles but they had them in like every single colour, every single size, you get thin ones, fat ones, tall ones, short ones, anything you needed it was there so I highly recommend looking there if you're looking for candles and to be honest even if you're just looking for straight candles because the ones I got are so pretty um, even by themselves without me altering them so I mean to be honest I'm probably going to ruin them um, but who cares it's all in the name of YouTube. So just for reference, these are the candles I got. They're literally all in my favourite colours. So stunning. I think this one is... I th this one's either lavender or... It's either... I think this one's pastel pink or pastel lilac. And then we have pastel green. This is taupe. Pastel blue and then pastel pink. I mean, they're really similar. Oh yeah, that's definitely the lilac. But look how pretty they are. Like these just by themselves, just straight are so nice anyway so but yeah hopefully I'm gonna enhance them a little bit and make them look super cute and little ornaments for my room these by the way were only £1.40 each and that's for the bigger size so you can get them smaller than this or thinner um, I think all in all I spent about £10 including delivery so it's really not too bad um, and I've got five candles out of it so pretty impressed just gonna like look up some shapes that I like just like get a bit of inspo from Instagram and find some shapes that I want to bend them into um, but I'm really excited I, I have a positive feeling about this and that's not usually the case when it comes to DIY with me so <laughs> I think it's gonna be good we'll see also just a quick OOTD if anyone was interested, this top, which I'm literally in love with, um, it's from, okay, I don't know how to say the name so don't make fun of me, but it's, it's from like IETS Franz, IETS Franz, anyone know how to say that? I don't know, but yeah, anyway, it's from there and I actually got it from Depop because it was completely sold out everywhere, um, but isn't it just stunning? It gives me Fendi vibes and obviously I can't afford Fendi. Um, so it's a really good alternative guys for people like me. Um, just how gorgeous. I love the colour, especially in the light. Look how pretty that is. And it zips up. You could zip it up all the way or have it only a little bit zipped up or whatever. I just love the shape and fit and like the collar of it and I just think it's such a good piece it really gives me like vintage kind of like 70s vibes I don't know if anybody else feels that but I really really like it I love the monogram style and then obviously I just paired it with my all-time favorite jeans from Zara because I love the contrast of the blue with brown I just think it's pretty so yeah that's my casual awesome fit for the day so first step with your candles is to put them in warm water and not water from the kettle apparently not like boiling water because I think 
surely they would just melt like completely melt in boiling water i don't know so yeah it says to put them in warm water just from the tap so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just not really sure how warm to make it i've also just thrown a hoodie on by the way because it is freezing in my house so just gonna i'm just gonna put them in and see if that actually does anything oh okay they float to the top i might put some more so this is meant to just make them soft enough so that you can actually bend them but not like fully melt them obviously because that would be a mess so i'm gonna say i'm gonna leave it for like 10 minutes i think 10 will be enough and then i'll try to like slowly bend them and see if they're okay i have no idea what i'm doing so whilst they're cooking cooking brewing i don't know what's called it whilst they're getting soft in the sink i've been looking at inspo of different candles obviously my candle is not this long this candle must have been like two meters long i swear but i'm thinking of doing like one twisty one that goes like that i just think that'd be really cute with the pink one i also watched another video of someone doing them and i love this one i think it looks so cool i'm hoping my candle's long enough to do it because i think that's so cute i also really like that one that stood up i think that's stunning yeah they did load this this was a tiktok by the way that i um that i found it on look at those i think they look so pretty i also really like that but i'm not actually sure how to do them i think i saw a video and someone had to like use a rolling pin to like flatten it and then turn it so i don't know i'm a bit scared about doing that one if that's going to be like a fail um but yeah i really like the twisted ones i think they're so cute kind of reminds me of emma leisure's recent collection that she had i don't know if you've seen it but those candles were so cute but i bet these are a hell of a lot cheaper okay i just tried bending this one a little bit and i was really scared but i think they're pliable enough now so i'm 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 just gonna do it i'm just just gonna do it i mean what's the worst that can happen okay i think i'm gonna start with the pink one and try and do the first design i saw i've got mum behind the camera watching me because she's too shy to come on the camera but i think she wants to want to see how it goes hopefully it's not a fail okay so I'm going to be gentle because I really do not want to snap this. So would I do it like, how should I start bending like there, do you think? And then bring it around? Yeah. Oh God. It's bending quite easily. Oh my God, I'm really, really don't want to snap this. Okay. First part is complete. <laughs> this is so... That's so tense. I really don't want it to snap. Uh, can you see that? Is, oh god, that's not. I think I want to make it more round. Well, that looks quite cute. Oh, how do you get? Them to, how the hell do you get these to stand? You need the balance. It needs to. So I need to bend more of it down. That looks so cute, in my opinion. I can tell you're dying to get involved. <laughs> my mum is literally dying to get involved and help. How do I get? How do I get it to balance? Up, yeah. up, like to the sky. Yeah, yeah. Slightly. <laughs> okay, it looks really cute. I'm gonna try and work on the balancing of this. Oh, that's not it. Is that not really cute? That's good. <laughs> Ta-da! First one complete. I think that is so cute. And look. It actually stands up. Obsessed. I love it. Right, so far so good. Obsessed. Um, now I'm going to try and do the wiggly one, which I feel like is going to be a bit harder, but we're getting good at this now, so, you know. We're going for that, guys. Do you think they're warm enough, Rab? Do you think they need rewarming? I don't know. Don't need to snap. Right. They've been... I've rewarmed. Yeah, I know, but they'll have cooled down because the water will have cooled down. Alright. Backseat candle maker over here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't resist. Although, well, what do you think? Feel how bendy? Okay, That's isn't fine. it? That's fine. Okay. I actually feel really tense. If it does break a bit, can I just mould it together again? No. Oh. <gasps> no, it's nothing. Can I mould it together again? <laughs> No, it started cracking. I'm gonna put some more warm water in there because I feel like they're cooling down a bit, so. Okay guys, I've managed to like merge the snap back together. 
So all is well, everything's fine again so far and I've just started to bend it. And look, I'm literally in love with these candles. This is gonna be my new favorite activity, guys, because I'm obsessed. But I need to make it stand up, so I think. <clears throat> oh, that was easy. Guys, I mean, can we just? I literally, I, like, I would buy these. I'd buy these in a shop and be like, oh my God, wow. Only issue with this one is that like, once it's burnt down to there, I mean, that's that's it. I don't think it can burn like that. But I won't probably wouldn't really be lighting these that much anyway. They're just like for cute decoration. I'm gonna go for that. Like, okay, it looks really bad on here, but it's like a snaky sort of design. I think that's quite cute. Also, I put them in a bit hotter water this time, and I think that has helped. Still not boiling, but. I think that's definitely helped, so I've started bending it. The tension when I'm doing it's this. Oh, it's cracking. Oh, it's cracking loads. Oh no. <laughs> Should I just leave it like that? If I could do it just like that, that's quite cute. Yeah. Does that look cute? Should I twist that or am I going too far? Am I going too far? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Mum just said she thinks this is a less successful one. I think that's rude. It looks nice. <laughs> Why don't you like it? Look. All three together. Cute. Stunning. I love it. Right, I might try and do a twisted one now, and apparently that involves a rolling pin. Um, so we're getting technical now. Let's see. Oh, this is really bendy. Okay, good. So apparently you roll it, you roll it flat and then just twist. I mean, Sounds can't be that good. hard. So shall I do it from like there? Yeah. Because I don't want the bottom bit to be. This is such a weird <laughs> activity <laughs> that I'm doing right now. Oh no, where's the wick? Oh no. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Now it looks like this. <laughs> so. Bad and funny. I'm just gonna twist, I think. I love that. Mm. I think that was. Oh. oh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, wait, it's a bit. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, wait, should I have done it more to the bottom? Okay, it's a little bit lopsided, but I think that looks so nice. In the shun in the um, candle holder, that's one of my fave ones. I love it. The collection is coming together. Hee hee hee. Okay, so we're on the last one now. Um, sadly, um, but I think we're gonna go for like similar design to the first one, but a bit more like round and like blobby kind of thing, but in a, in a nice way. <laughs> Quite cute. I like that. I, just think, I think that's just like the perfect little well shape. And yeah, safe. first time. That this is the safest out of all of them, except for that one, to be fair. Guys, right, let's put them all together. And there we have my collection. Look how cute they look. I'm literally obsessed with them. I'm 100% gonna be ordering more of these. Not that I have anywhere to put them, but hey, maybe I'll just start giving them away. To be honest, at this point. I feel like I should start an Etsy business. I mean, hello, who would not buy these? I would buy these. Literally keeps coming in before I'm filming and like adjusting the tea towels and stuff because <laughs> she wants you to see the nice bit of the tea towel. Really makes me laugh. Um, is anyone else's mum like that? Or is it just mine? <laughs> anyway, that was really fun and actually like not hard, like not that hard. And even though we nearly had like a minor disaster, I saved it, so it's all good. And if I can do it, like literally anybody can do it. And I just am obsessed with how they turned out. I'm gonna cut to some pretty shots of them lit or in my room or something now, but I highly recommend you do this, guys. And like I said, normally one of these bendy candles is like 20 something quid. So it's a no brainer.
So guys, we have reached the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. I'm sorry if it was a little bit chaotic. Um, that was just how it was. it was. It was a bit of a chaotic time, but I absolutely love how the candles turned out. Currently scouting out every surface in my house because I just want to put candles on all of them now. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this again. And yeah, I highly recommend that you guys do it because it's just so fun and just the results are so, so cute. And like I say, so much cheaper than trying to buy them from a website for like 20, 30 quid. If you really like candles or even if you just want straight, cute coloured candles, then go to Plaristo because they have such a wide variety of candles to choose from. So I really, really highly recommend. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really, really appreciate it. And also if you could click the subscribe button down below, that would mean even more to me. And I would love it if you joined my youtube family also you can follow me over on my instagram i'm gonna be definitely posting a picture of these pretty candles over there and i have a lot of fashion inspo over there as well so i'd really appreciate it if you give me a follow at alice hope m and yeah that's about it guys um thank you so much for tuning in and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye